Hey there guys, welcome to another edition of Tech Tips by Chrisfield Computers. Today we're going to take a look at Outlook 2016 and setting up your Verizon email. Verizon uses a service called POP nowadays uh, rather than IMAP, so let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start by opening up Outlook 2016. I've got it right here in my start menu, so we're going to go ahead and open it. This will be the first time doing it, so it's going to welcome us and ask us a few questions. Do you want to set up Outlook to connect to an email account? Well, yes, we do. Here it's going to ask for our basic information. We're going to say what our information is. And we're going to type in our password. So we've gone ahead and put in our name, email address, and our password. All right, so what we're going to do is rather than have this thing automatically set up our email, we're going to go ahead and manually set it up and hit next. It wants to know if it's an Outlook.com, Exchange ActiveSync, POP, or IMAP. We are going to choose the POP or IMAP because, as I said, ours is POP. Here's where you can set this. Make sure that you set it correctly because you can't change it after you set it up without removing everything. So we'll see our email and our name populated through here. We're going to go ahead and type in the incoming server, which is nowadays pop.verizon.net. And the SMTP is SMTP. Verizon.net. Oops, I made a little typo. <laughs> Down here, it's going to ask for our username. We're going to go ahead and just copy this. Oop, won't let us copy. There we go. So once we clicked up here and we came back here, it put our username in for us. Password, we're going to go ahead and type in our password. If you are the only person using the computer, you can hit remember password. This means that every time you open Outlook, it will automatically check your email, therefore reducing the privacy on the email. If you have a password on your computer when you first turn it on, this may be fine. If you want to make sure it asks you every time, just uncheck it. Every time you open Outlook, it will ask for a password. Um, once we've got that done, what we need to do now is we need to go to more settings, outgoing server, requires authentication, and then also we're going to hit over to advance and hit the SSL and SSL boxes. We also have to change this to port 465 so that it can have the uh, email go through. Down here you also see leave a copy of messages on the server. You also see that it will remove them after 14 days. We're going to change that from remove after 14 days to remove from deleted items. Hit OK. And we're going to test it one more time. And now you'll see that we changed it to the SSL. Both things went through. We'll go ahead and hit next. Again, it's going to test it one more time. I like to do the test beforehand just so that that way we can see it works. And it says you're all set. Come right in here into Outlook. And hit close on that. And since it's the first time you're using Outlook, it wants you to agree to everything. You will see the test email came through as well as my old email when I set up my broadband. All right, guys, as you can see, everything worked out great with those settings. The settings, again, are going to be displayed here on your screen. Go ahead and pause the video, write them down. They will also be in the notes on the bottom in the description. Thank you for watching this video. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment below if this was helpful at all to you. Let us know what kind of videos you would like us to make, and we'll go ahead and put some of those tech tips together. 
Um, anything with the Microsoft Outlook suite or Windows, we will go ahead and try to bust those out as quickly as possible for you. Again, I want to thank you for taking the time to watching this video, and we will see you next time.